Hi everyone, my name is Julie. Thank you so much for watching and today we're talking nail polish. I'm so excited. This is my second update with my spring polishes and I have loved it. I think this is what the project needed, just like an influx of new polishes because I have used the crap out of them. You guys know I've stopped biting my nails now. I've like gotten into it, although I still have one that's <laughs> not doing as well as the others. But I have so much progress on these polishes, so I wanted to pop on here and show you them real fast, what we're doing. I've got eight polishes in this project, and I actually have progress on seven of the eight, which is amazing. I don't think that's ever happened before, <laughs> to be honest with you. I honestly don't remember that ever happening before, having so much progress. I probably bang my nails every other day or every other two days, which is why I think we have so much progress. But I was just like, I don't know, I was just like in the nail painting mood, and you guys know I got that new Orly Topper in my last haul, and I've been loving partnering that with different polishes. So that's been really fun. I've just, I don't know, I've had just like a great time playing. <laughs> I've had a great time playing this month, so that's great. Let's dive into it, and I'm going to show you all eight, because I want to show you the one that I didn't get progress on, because I actually did use it. This is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Brilliant polish in the shade Mutant. It's really, really almost neon blue. It's bright, it's vibrant. I used it once. Um, I don't see any separation yet from like the top of the bottle, but this stayed on really well, I must admit. Like the way this looked on my nails was fantastic. There was a little tip where just because it's such a vibrant blue, you can, you can see it a little bit easier. But if you top this with a topper, I did the Orly like glitter polish, but you can also do like a hollow taco or anything like that. It does make it easier to wear and the tip wear isn't as noticeable. I ended up doing that um, just to help out a little bit because I found after a day like I was getting a little wear. Just like, you know, I have a little wear right now. You can kind of see just that white edge. So it doesn't normally bother me if I put a topper on it. And that's what I did with this. And it looked great. Absolutely great. It's actually still... Do you guys like peel sometimes your nails in the shower? Is that too much information? But it's like really easy to peel your nails in the shower. I still have like one of my nail peelings in there. <laughs> and I look and I'm like, oh, that's a pretty color every time I go in and shower. All right, this is the Essence the Gel Nail Polish, and this is in the shade Play With My Mint. Absolutely beautiful. Use this twice. I got separation there finally. So yay for movement. That's exciting. I was also able to mark my Zoya Polish. This is in the shade Elodie, and I got separation there. I haven't come down off the curve yet, but um, I'm still really pleased with that progress. This is a gel base one. So I'll tell you this, it looks really good in the summer, but it's not my favorite. I'm not a huge fan of those gel polishes, but something about this color does intrigue me, so I'm keeping it. Um, but I am hoping to get to half <laughs> of this polish by the time I get tired of it. <laughs> For my hollow polish, this is so beautiful. This is the KB Shimmer Polish, and it is in the shade 718. Absolutely stunning, and look how much I've used it. I made it all the way down there. I think that's crazy. Like, that's a lot of use in a single month. I did probably use this a couple times before I put it in this project. So it might not all be from a single month, but I think I painted my nails this two or three times. So, like, that's good. If I can continue movement like that, I'll be very happy. <laughs> my Julep Polish in the shade Leona. This is the Diamond for April. Just a beautiful all-around shade. If there's just something about this, and I don't know what it is, because it's so hard to describe like the shimmer that this has, because it's shimmer without being like obnoxiously shimmery. It's not like my hollows where it's like whoa and it hits the sun. It's just there's something subtle about it that's really pretty. And I've got another month of solid use on it, from there to there. Can't argue with that usage. Yeah, it's probably gonna take me another three months to use up. Thank you, Cuckoo Clock. <laughs> it probably will take me another three months to use up. However, um, I'm totally down with that. I mean, I think this is one or two uses each month. So, that what is that? Six to ten uses and then this will be done. Yeah, I could knock it out next month, but I have another one in mind. Stay tuned to the end of this video to see which one you think I'm going to be finishing first. <laughs> or at least I definitely know I'm going to be finishing that one first. This is the Essie Polish in Flowerista. You guys know I'm obsessed with this polish. It is such a great, great shade. Oh, I just turned it sideways. Oh, don't do that. Um, I have that much use on it. <laughs> That's just one nail polish usage. Um, so I'm happy with that. Like, if I can use this once a month, I'll be very, very happy. 
I would eventually probably like to do it twice a month. But I'm digging this color. I like this color. I'm glad it's in my collection. And I'm glad it's not limited edition shade. Like, I can still pick this up again once I finish this. So I really like this Essie polish. And I like the new Essie brushes better than the one I've got. I've got the narrow brush. Not nearly as good as the wide brush. This is the Sinful Colors Sinful Shine in the shade Creme de la Creme. Um, it's one of the Kylie collection shades, but look at that separation I've got there. Yes, this is the narrowest part of the body, but that's still a lot, I feel like, for a single month. Um, once again, I probably did use this one time before putting it in this project, so that's three uses in total. I did use this twice this month. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh my god. Like, people were asking me if I got a tan when I put this on, and nope, no tan yet. <laughs> I guess I've worked outside a little bit, so maybe, but not really. Absolutely love, love this polish. I don't know. Some of people were telling me in the comments in my last video that they were surprised I put a metallic in here. But to me, metallics are year-round. Are metallics year-round to you? I'm just intrigued. I never thought that they'd be like winter-only shades. Like, I want to wear glitter and metallics year-round. And not all metallics. Like a glitter metallic, not like a high shine, like reflective. I've tried like the chrome polishes and those don't look right on me. But let me know what you think about, like, shimmer metallics, where the shimmer is just so fine it looks like metal. I'm intrigued to know. The last polish, and the one I'm definitely going to finish <laughs> next month, and I'm so excited to get my second polish finished. This is the Julep in the shade Fran. And it's what I've got on my nails today, and I'm all the way down at the bottom there. It's actually kind of stuck on the side, so I did kind of a little guesstimate there. I went up a little bit from where the polish actually is at the bottom because it's on the sides. This is getting thicker, it's getting goopier. You can definitely tell it's about to be finished. It's a great formula. Tip wear, I think that happens at the end of all julep polishes. Julep polishes are notorious for getting like that thickness to it near the end. So I can tell it's ready to go. I'm excited to finish this up. I probably have one, one and a half polishes left on this. So I'm gonna make sure this is gone by the time we hit July. <laughs> June, you know, like maybe, I don't know, this, sometimes I use this for my 4th of July nails, but I can't this year, because it's going to be gone before July 1st, before my next update, you count this on me, because we're going to, we're going to get this one gone. And that, my friends, is the end of my project polish. I think I've got a wide range of polishes to choose from. I like my blue, I like my mint, I like my pinks and corals, and, and I don't know, I think I've got like a good selection this time. I'm really still excited about these polishes. I see these colors, and I'm like, yes, that's what I want to wear. So I'm excited to continue getting good use on them. I probably do need to touch up actually my nails because of that tip wear. And look, this is so sad. Have you ever painted your nails and then touched something and your nails are still slightly damp? Yep, I tied my shoe. <laughs> and it just dragged half that nail right off and I haven't fixed it yet. So I need to do that, uh, maybe finish that red, maybe paint my, no my toes with that red. I've got Florista on them right now and they look really good. <laughs> but maybe I'll do red on them next. We shall see what happens. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Happy panning, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.